They thought they were ready. Did they? Did, were they, did they really think it? I think a lot of people think it. Gee, no way. Nick Saban, business as usual. Alabama, Alabama, Alabama. Vandy thought they were ready. They were riding high after a Kansas State win, and then they got brought back down to earth. It, it was truly unbelievable. I mean, that was probably the best performance I've seen start to finish yeah. from an Alabama team in some time. Now, look, Vandy is not a bad opponent. You're not. Now, are they elite? No, not to this point. But Alabama, and especially the run game, Spears, was ridiculous. Gee, it was physical. And look, this is the problem that teams run into when they play Alabama, the physical nature in which they play and how much they come at you between the tackles. You talk about these backs now, Damian Harris, Najee Harris, uh, Bo Scarborough. You talk about Jalen Hurts adding into the rush. They ran for 496 yards in this game, yeah. seven players with 20-plus rush yards. You talk about coming in and wanting to dominate at the line of scrimmage. This is what Alabama has held over people's head in this league for the last 10 years. Yeah. When it comes down to line of scrimmage play, we can, we can line down and bloody your nose. And Vanderbilt's defense, for all intents and purposes, are one of those defenses where you have to be sound or you have to be more physical. Bama was more physical, man. So Jay Stu's on your side. Stu, what do you got stat of the week, Stewie. man? Let's go a little bit deeper into that domination. Now, Alabama for the season, we know how great their offensive line is. They have 765 yards rushing this season before contact. It's ridiculous. There are 92 teams in the bowl subdivision that don't have that many total rushing yards. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And it, this offensive line deserves a lot of credit. Look, the right side of the offensive line in particular was a big question mark coming into the season. Look at them now. There's a strength. I think you need to give credit to what they've done. And I think Nick Saban, after having preached the week before against Colorado State, the way the backups played in the fourth quarter, it was a completely different animal. Not like James Franklin needing to put his second <laughs> no. team black team See, in. <laughs> Nick, Saban, Nick Saban, when he has a team that plays really, really well, he usually cuts them down. And if he has a team that doesn't play as well, he builds them up. Well, I think he's probably going to be cutting them down just a little bit. We oh, need to break down name. coach. All right, we need to break him down here. You played for him. I played for him. We know him pretty well. 59 nothing. Yep. First and goal going in. Two oh, minutes left. Fine. And you can see he's talking. He's not happy. What are we doing? That's what he's saying right now. And he just coaches to the very end. Gee, it's unbelievable, yeah. man, the attention to detail. Look, we talk about it all the time. He, okay. there's, It's never right. There it is. Right, there's there always is. something. There he is. What's wrong? Why? Why? What, what, why, why can't what the guy? Why can't we? He's supposed to be. A, <laughs> it never fails. It never fails. He is the most consistent person oh. I've ever been around. When things are going great, it's as if the sky is falling, and if things are going poorly, man, he'll pick you up. You either, you either love clearly, him or you hate him. Yeah, we clearly you know love which, him or you hate him. There's no in between. We clearly know which side of the fence he was on this week, and very happy with. Gee, his what team's happened in Big Brother? 